Guess what? And the answer to that is chicken butt. Welcome to the Hearthstone Dectacular! Where I'm going to build a reincarnation shaman. Let me show you what I'm working with. Why is my face so dark? Oh, oh, it's because that light. There we go. Look at my bright face. It's getting mostly absorbed by my ever-increasing forehead size. Oh, guys, you know what I want to build? I want to rebuild out a reincarnation shaman. Shaman! Look at this. I, um, I'm, I'm imposing some restrictions on myself. So first of all, I am forcing myself to have both double ancestral spirit and double reincarnate. I am forcing this. Um, because, come on, death rattle, resummon this minion, reincarnate, destroy this minion, then return to life with full health. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot the other restriction. Get Kel'Thuzad in me. Shut up, shut up, cat. I'm, daddy's busy with a show. Yeah, this is, this is, this is what I'm rocking with right now, to start with, right? These two doubles, and of course, since we're doing a little death rattling, we gotta put in Baron Rivendare, because, of course, right? Um, I'm gonna put in a Faceless Manipulator because I think this could be sexy in this deck, right? We put, like, uh, Ancestral Spirit and then Facelessly Manipulate. That's a way to sort of get a little bit of extra le leverage. <laughs> le Levagerage, uh, out of that. Levagerage. Um, and then we have Sylvanas Windrunner because I know my six drops. Oh! I'm also, I'm also phasing out of existence a little bit. I know, and the cat's so upset about me phasing out of existence that she meowed. You know, i that, that's the weird thing about a cat, is that if you're a cat, you only have one lever to communicate emotion. Like, Sheriff, when Sheriff wants to express anguish, she just, Row! that's her noise for anguish. When she's hungry, it's, Row! that's the only lever. If she is actually interested in a philosophical concept like absurdism she's gonna go Row! that's her only lever that's all she can do sheriff has indigestion and is worried that maybe she's caught the flu Row! sheriff is really frustrated because she applied for a job at target and they haven't gotten back to her yet she doesn't know if that's sinking a little too low to call the manager and follow up and when she told me she went Row! look there she is she's She's like, I didn't apply to Target, and oh, that's the only way she can she can correct me. Get fucked. That's what's going on. Poor cat. Uh, now, so I want to build Reincarnation Nation. Uh, I, I do not want to fill that out, but of course, this is something I forgot to do last night. I need to open these up. Oh, double epic. Golden Epic, a Shadow Bomber. I love having golden cards I'll never use. Epic. Oh, a Silt Fin Spirit Walker. Oh. Oh, it's golden. Oh, a Fell Cannon. Oh my god, ship the Fells. Hunt's Master of the Fell Reavers. All right, let's do some reincarnation, nation. The Victus says, "What? What? What was that tangent even? That tangent is what I built my career on. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? What was that tangent? You know what the tangent was? Okay, let's be very particular with what we're putting in here. This cat is so pissed off at me. We might be able to get away with no lightning storm if we build this deck correctly." Um, Um, I think I'm going to have to be uh, a little bit more on the beat down side, right? Hmm. Okay, so let's put in some obvious ones. Let's put in the fire elementals. I'm really looking at earth elementals. Sorry, let me just disenchant these annoying little cards. Um... So I feel like I am going to run a Fire Elemental, right? I think we, we do want some Death Rattles. Let's look up some Death Rattle things right away. Oh no! 
You did call the manager to follow up about Target. Maybe not. Okay, let's look at let's look at what death rattlers we're working with. I think piloted shredder is an intuitive strong one to run with. Um, I feel also, oh god, this is. I feel like a sludge belcher is gonna be probably be pretty intelligent here. Hmm. Do I? Am I really running Sneed's old shredder in this? Look at that, it happened. Um, I think right away, um, we're running a little bit low on Zakar draw. And you know, the, the, the drakes are so common. Just daddy's working. Now, you see, like, uh, in, in, in the traditional Shaman deck, people are just like, Arr, Lightning Storm, Hex, okay, there we go, brr, Flame Tongue Totem. I'm actually not 100% convinced that I'm just automatically running these. Uh, I mean, I'm feeling those probabilities get bigger. Um, but, <laughs> Jesus. As an example, um, it, there was a, a Mech Shaman that I was running a few weeks ago, and that Mech Shaman didn't run a lot of the usual things. I don't... It definitely didn't run Lightning Storm. It didn't run a lot of these usual low endy guys. Uh, so how do, how do we really want to build this? Because I feel like thus far we've been very conservative. Except for Sneed's Old Shredder. I'm just putting that guy in there. Because fuck yeah, that guy's in there now. Look at that. Faceless Manipulators. This is a pretty... Pretty high-end curve. So how do we how do we want to fill this out? Am I, am I going to go Mech Tech? I don't know if there's a lot of death rattle mechers. I feel like a vitality totem kind of makes sense. Uh, I feel like I'm running one mana tide. I might even want to run another mana tide. Unbound elemental might be what gets run. I mean, I feel like hex is an intelligent one to do. I think I, I think I just am gonna do that. Oh, Thorison. God, yeah. I actually do have to run Thorison in here, don't I? Okay, so already I'm just like, holy crap, dude. Like... What I'm really like is I'm like, holy crap, dude. I actually want to... I want to play the damn game. Alright, let's... Let's let's just... Let's just build this out. Let's just build this out. I think a zombie chow is a completely fine thing to build. Or to put into the deck. I think that makes absolute sense. Um... This is, this is a pretty high end of stuff. Uh, Rock Biter Vepum. I don't know if Flame Tongue Totem is going to help me uh, a ton. I kind of want to run the Power Maze just because it's like in the curve. Alright, I'm, I'm looking at this hard, man. I'm thinking about this one real hard. I'm trying hard. You know, I also really just want to run some, like, Earth Elementals. Mm. See, people saying, like, Dr. Balance, Dr. Boom. Hi, Sheriff. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. There we go. Let's hold this cat. Yes, become a puddle in my arms. You know, I think... Yeah, you know, let's, let's investigate the ceiling a little bit. Let's flick that tail a little bit. Your sister's nowhere to be found. Don't worry, you're safe here. I don't want too much stuff here that's kicking ass. You know, I think that what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna look up Death Rattle. <gasps> oh! 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 Ow! Ow! That was the right nipple. Okay, let's look up Death Rattle because I think I'm not. I think I'm not leveraging this enough. <laughs> Explosive sheep. Loot hoarder could be tight. Loot Hoarder is, like, right up where I need to get going on. Actually, Loot Hoarder, I think, might be great. As well as Haunted Creeper. Um, loot Hoarder is, is super tight for us. Because we're really just trying to go ham up here, right? Is this... Damn, I really like Loot Hoarder here. This is, this is super sick. You know what I'm also going to do? 
How, how's my curve looking? Okay. This is just, I love this card too much. So down, down it comes, down it arrives. I think uh, maybe Sneed's old shredder with the ancestral spirit is a little. No, well, maybe I want to just. Oh, I re I really want to run an Earth Elemental. Ah, oh, God. This is a weird looking one. Is there anything in the four drop area? I mean, sure, a fire guard, derbner. Because I mean, like, I feel like if we're if we want to be super out of control, we would just put in a Ragnaros and say go. Maybe a defender of Argus is what we want. This is a weird one. This does not look like a deck. All right, let's hit the go button. <laughs> this does not look like a deck. This doesn't look like a deck. Yeah, but we are, we are, we are running it. We are running it. And we are, we are going to take a reincarnation shaman rank four. God, I really, that's a really big problem I have, which is like I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to like look and construct and examine the curve and make sure there's some synergies there. And then I'm like, oh come on, let's just go, dude. Zombie Chow. I'm a control deck. I can put in any high end I want. Done. That's really the way I deck build is, okay, I have a plan, let's work it out, and uh, wow, look at that. I just straight up put in a zombie chow, and then I can do whatever I want. I smell blood. I'm a good, I smell blood. Oh, dude, we drew the wombo combo. Faceless manipulator, man. Mm. I'm a ghost today. You know what, let's just, let's just embrace it. There we go. That's good. Let's see, this is a 38. And this was around here. You know, I'll just be Flickery Sean. They call me Flickery Mind Sean. If I roll need. Mind if I roll me? Need? To my side. Oh, God. Why am I not surprised to see Huffer? Ugh. Wouldn't even want to be Huffer. Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I think I gotta do this. Oh my god, the taunt totem from the heavens! Ah, oh, ready to write. Taste my steel! I feel like I need some low end. Some healing! I'm gonna really kick some serious fucking ass if I can get there. Overload me three. And I would have three next turn. God, that is the play, isn't it? That sucks. Ah. Resummon this minion. Did I choose a game of playing tomorrow? I'm not playing a game tomorrow because I am getting ready for the After Hours Gaming League Grand Finals. Finals! A H G L. Hype! 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 Remember me. Remember me! We're gonna get there. Oh, he hasn't apologized yet. Oh, he's going in. Oh, shit. Wow, we're actually gonna take some hits. Alright, well. Oof. A little tricky. Mm. It's really bad. Really, really bad for us. Are we racing? We're having a 
a race. I do not feel good in this race. Hmm, not really feeling good in this race. And you'll 10 and 2, which is 12. Okay. And I did put in a lightning strong, right? Okay. This skill play. Holy shit. Oh my god, get there one time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. Oh, the next turn. Oh my god. That was a close game. Oh. Oh, we got, we got so close. We got so close. Hold on, hold on. That was, that was the play right there. Okay, I think the Earth Elementals are not lining up with my life goals here. But I do love a Faceless Manipulator on that. I think, I think I'm just gonna go with kind of, kind of a, an oldie but a goodie, the Harvest Goblin. I think this just fills in a nice little area that I need. <laughs> oh my god, did you see how nearly sick I was? Oh my god, I like almost called the hospital because I was about to be so sick. Faces manipulator on the taunt totem, and at that point he just goes, Oh shit, this guy gets it. For Doomhammer. Blah blah blah, Doomhammer. I'm going to pitch it all back. Mr. Miyagi. I think we might, like, what part of me wants to do is actually not make it about Death Rattle as much. Like, cut Baron Rivendare, get out, get out of here Baron Rivendare, I don't need you, you're not important to me. And just put in some Reincarnation Nation. Irritable says, Dana, you need Major Domo so much. You go Death Rattle, Revive Combo, you can hit him four times with your hero power. Damn. I thought I was ambitious. <laughs> but I read that comment and I'm like, damn. <laughs> uh, one three five Linus said, so I had to ask you before, do you have a favorite book series slash book? Dude, I think this is, I think this is known far and wide. Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. Fantastissimo. Best book series ever. Aaron Tuay says, why not Fugan? I don't have good experience with Fugan and Stalag. I have experiences where I want to get huge. And I'm like, oh my god, yeah, Fugan and Stalag, let's do this, let's go, baby. But overall, ah, nop. And Green says, I just picked up Death Masks. I think uh, maybe my favorite book in that series is Turncoat. I Skin Game was really good, though. Oh, God, I love Turncoat. It's so cool. Okay, so Jim Butcher has this amazing blog about writing that you can check it out at jim-butcher.com. Or maybe it's just jimbutcher.com. I think it's jim-butcher.com. Just Google Jim Butcher and you'll get there, all right? Jesus. And he talks about this problem in... I that a lot of authors face when they're writing their novel, which is just kind of a sagging, boring middle. Because you have a premise that's intriguing and catchy and you you get drawn into that. You have a climactic ending that is... Out of time. Um, it's, the, it's the climax, right? It's the exciting part, right? But then there's this problem of trying to like have the threads weave together properly and in all that weaving, what many people tend to do in the middle of their book is it's just boring. 
So a writing technique he learned is what he has. Um, the, uh, a writing technique he learned is the big myth. All right, we got him. One turn down. Hey, give me that. So in the big middle, it's basically a mid-book climax, where the, there's the threads that come together from the start, and then they coalesce in the middle, and this is where everything gets sort of thrown out of control, and then the protagonist reevaluates. that leads up again to the final climax. This is my town, scrub. Yeah, beat it! And what's really cool is that he took that same story writing structure and applied it to his entire Dresden Files book series, which is planned to be 20 books, and there's 14 now, what I believe, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 16, 16, 16-ish books out. And each book, each book is two words. It's like Stormfront, Full Moon, Grave Peril, Summer Night. Blood rites, death masks. Can I do them all? White knight. I don't know which order these go in, but it's proven guilty, small favor, turn coat, and then I think changes is is the last uh, is the next one. Death rattle will summon this minion. Oh, I know which one that's going on. Uh, And what's really cool is, again, they're all two words, but changes is near the middle of the series, and it's one word, changes. Isn't that tight? Oh my god, just changes. And that's the epic grande middle. I want to get Sneed's out. I think we're actually gonna do it. I think we're just gonna kill him. Shadow Street, do you have a link to your books? Shadow Street's talking about writing Shadow Street. Subbed earlier when we were talking about the dudes. Back from the junk heap. And that's 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 what I love about that book series. It just it just builds so steadily. Looking at me. Ooh, shit. I know what my heart wants. <sighs> God, I know what my heart wants real bad. Jesus. That is so hard. No, I think I really have to do this. Junkie! No. God, I wanted to do that so bad. You know what's another sick book series? Goosebumps. R.L. Stein. He, he wrote Fear Street as well, which are like more mature horror novels. I didn't read any of those. It's too young, man. Stuck with Goosebumps, man. Goosebumps was like an idea in a book. That's, like, that's it. Just like, wouldn't it be weird if there was like a mask that controlled your face? Fucking book! Go! Like, that was the whole thing. And up and away he went. Can I just ever get this Sneeds out? I'm doing it, I'm doing it, here it comes, here it comes. Boom. This guy's coming out. Bang, cup. Boom. This sucks. I'm like accidentally just beating him down before I get any of my death rattly dudes going. Ugh. Well, 
Wait, I hit him in the face. I meant to hit the 4-5. What am I doing? I meant to hit the 4-5. I was just thinking about goosebumps. What is wrong with me? What's happened? That's exactly why I didn't want to do that. Oh, shit ass. Ass. Oh my god, ass. I don't want to do that. I actually kind of need him to clear some board stuff off so I can get this sick combo. I uh, totally, I totally uh, cast the spell on the 2-3 just to hit the 4-5. That's the only reason I would do that. There's no reason to just cast it and hit him in the face. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, balls. I suddenly realized I didn't Ancestral Spirit the guy. Hmm. I think there's an argument to be made for not doing it, but I was busy being surprised in other ways. Uh, let's see here. So you're gonna... I'm gonna hush you. Hush this one. To play this one, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run out uh, this one. We have a sick play coming up at some point in the near future. You know. I'm more interested in this conversation about books and reading and writing as a channel. No Shadow Flame one time. Hey, what a monster. It's okay, we got him on the ropes. He's panicking. He's freaking out. He's lost. Hasn't he now? Hmm. I think I might just make make me a little more combo-y. A little more combo. -y. Less of this like mid-rangey bullshit stuff. I don't need that. <laughs> I just have, this, have this like monster combo on maybe a target at some point. Here we go, boys. Boom. There it is, and guess what? There it is. I'm gonna save these these two. Cause if I can get Sylvanas out, it's gonna be so thick. Or Kelthazad. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. That's right. I mean honestly, if I can just get like a ancestral spirit reincarnate going on like a mixture of Kelthazad, Sylvanas. Not Smeeds. Oh, shit. 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 I've used both my hexes. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh, this sucks a lot. Oh my god, it's Thorson. This is the worst. Alright, well, that's dead, and this is gonna get killed and die off. And we're all in bad shape. Alright. I need Sylvanas, and then I need a very particular set of follow-ups. That is a depressing draw. What are, what are the odds right now? I'm holding out. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to bop this guy. Boom. <laughs> this deck needs some work. It needs some work. There's, there's, there's some exciting potential in there. I think what I should really just go for is, like, card draw, control, and then just the combos that are so thick. I think I should get Karen in there. Ooh. 
Cairn. I, I think, um... Big Baron, Riven Darren. Oh god, holy guacamole. This is gonna stink. God, I should just get Crackle in here. <laughs> just like... <laughs> just turn this game into, I'm gonna go death route. No, 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 just shoot him in the face. Recall that this game was a touch close. Let's get Sylvanas. Let's get Sylvanas. Let's get Sylvanas. Let's go Sylvanas. This is really bad news. One, two, three, four, five, ten, eighteen. Okay. All right. This needs to be a taunter. Okay. Well played. It didn't work. Didn't work. It didn't work. I think. I think I want to go down a slightly more card draw route. A little card drawly. Maybe. Maybe just throw caution to the wind and put in cold light oracles. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy that way. Okay. I'm actually gonna watch this. Look at how crazy that is. Do you see that? Do you see how much self-control that takes to do that? I'm gonna put Cairn in place there. Boom. Uh, I need some more card draw for sure. I I actually think I'm gonna go down the Asia the Asia Drake route. I think Baron Rivendare might need to go. He might need to go, dude. Rockbiter weapon, I think, does not make sense for me. I think we, I think we do need some Dreku. I got, I got, I, I need, I need to do some soul searching to really figure out who I am. So this is just, just this, just the, the highest endest deck, man. Jesus. I pulled out the Rockbiter weapon because I want to try to put in a little bit more damage dealy stuff, a little bit more shooty. Shooty face hurdy kind of stuff. Like, um. I feel like I need to. I'm actually gonna pull these out and I'm just gonna, like, look. I'm gonna look at what I've become. Let's look at our five drop slot. I'm keeping in that faceless manipulator because that's super cool. You know, I just. I'm just gonna. We're just going to take a break, and I'm going to stew on this. I'm going to show you what I come up with post-break. We will return with our flickery shirt. Never wear a close-to-green-colored shirt. On a break.